going on guys? It's Xavier here with Accurate Auto Service and today we are working on a 2011 Honda Pilot. The rear AC was cold and the front AC was warm. The customer's complaint was initially the front air conditioning doesn't work at times. So I'm going to talk you a little bit through the diagnostic, how we came to the expansion valve um, being the culprit and where we'll go from there. So to start off, um, again, I'm still new to this, so I didn't get everything in images, so you're going to have to hang tight in there. The And I'll put this in the description as well. The front air conditioning was blowing about 50 degrees, but it would slowly get warmer, while the rear AC would continuously blow at 40 degrees. Now, on the engine side of things, my pressure on the low side would start at about 30 and the high side would start about 250 so that's about normal and gradually my high side pressure would increase and my low side pressure would decrease so at one point I was pulling a vacuum on the low side and had about 400 psi on the high side now during this operation the rear was still blowing ice cold and the front was blowing warm now the I'll show you in a later picture, but the air conditioning lines to the rear were normal. One was warm, the high side, and the low side was frosty or sweating, where the front lines had no frost or no sweating. They were exactly the same temperature, which led me to believe the expansion valve had failed. Um, and with the rear AC working absolutely fine, I drew the conclusion that the air compressor was perfectly okay. So we sold this customer an expansion valve um, and it's important not to, even when you're confident of a repair, explain to the customer that even though the expansion valve has failed that there could be another underlying issue like the air compressor, excuse me, the air conditioning compressor slowly wearing out and the expansion valve could be plugged with debris or could be um, just broken and clogged up and customer understood but he listened and he understood that if the rear AC was working fine the compressor is probably in good shape so he went ahead and authorized the expansion valve here are the tools we used flashlight a uh, quarter inch ratchet 3 8 drive impact and we used a screw gun, a pair of pliers, a pair of dikes, seven, uh, eight millimeter quarter inch socket, a 10 millimeter magnet socket, a couple extensions, Phillips head screwdriver, 10 millimeter socket, and a quarter inch wobble and a tin wobble. Now, if you don't have a wobble, you'll still be able to get it. You just might have to use some different extensions and and get in there a little tight but let's go ahead and get started so underneath the glove box which I don't have pictures for there's a panel just pull down on the panel it's held in by three metal clips and pull it toward yourself and put it aside and once you pull off that panel you'll see two eight millimeter bolts the one circled and the other one is on the other side of the glove box remove those and then remove the glove box by opening the handle and then pushing in on the sides of the glove box and it'll come right out. Once the glove box is out, uh, I didn't take a picture before, but there's a metal, or excuse me, a plastic piece right here that needs to be removed. I removed it by cutting it with a pair of dikes, bending it the other way and cutting the other side. And once that's out of the way, you have one, two, three, four, uh, eight millimeter screws and then you got a couple clips that you're going to want to pop off and this metal bracket comes out pretty easily. You're going to have to bend the plastic a little bit. Once that's out, I start with the connectors of the wiring harness. It's a two wire, pin, two wire connector going to the blower motor and these guys just pop off. You can grab them with your hand or a pair of pliers. Now on the right hand side of the blower motor you got another clip and you have another connector. Now this connector uh, it's a little tricky. You got to push it 
towards the passenger side to get it off the clip and then you can disconnect it. You're going to have this clip, it goes in right here, you just pull it off with your hand. And this connector, it goes onto this actuator on the back side, so you have to reach around and get it. And while you're under there, go ahead and take off that 10 millimeter. Now, what I'm about to show you is there's a, there's a vent that you're going to want to take out. It'll be a lot easier, but it is a little tricky. So on the driver's side of the passenger uh, glove box, there's this hole right here. And if you look in there, there's a screw, and you want to take that screw out. It's a little tricky to get to, but uh, my screwdriver, well, I used my screw gun, and it was on the bottom of the hole, so it was going straight in. And once you get that out, there's the bottom screw, and this is the um, blower motor vent that you're going to want to get out of the way. There, there's another picture of it right there. Now you're going to take off that 10, these two 10s, and this is underneath the um, on the floorboard. This There's the actuator that you disconnected, and you're going to grab this 10. You'll need your extensions here, and this other 10. This is where I use the extension and the wobble. Now once, once all those are out, the blower motor assembly, you'll want to pull this towards you and then it, I'm not going to say it's going to drop out very easily, but kind of wiggle it out of there. It takes a little bit of finesse. Um, I did fold back the carpet a little bit while I was doing it, but just be careful not to break the blower motor uh, assembly. And once it's out of the way, this is what you'll be looking at. You're going to take off this clip, disconnect the blower motor transistor connector, and you're going to want to pull this panel back just slightly to access some screws. You'll have eight screws total, so there's one, two, three. That's a repeat, four, five. That's a repeat, six seven and eight. Now this screw back here, don't remove. It will, it, it does not need to be removed. So there you go, eight screws. Those are for your blower motor. You got your three self-tapping, your two that go up top, that one's on the bottom, and those two are for the vent. Now once you've got all this out, you want to go outside of the vehicle, and you should already have evacuated the system by now. And you're going to disconnect these two 10 millimeters. Once those two 10 millimeters are disconnected and you have that front plastic panel out, this is what you'll be looking at. Now it's a little tricky. You probably could take it off right here, but I went ahead and just pulled out the whole evaporator to inspect it and make sure I didn't have any other problems while I was in there. So I gently kind of wiggled it out of there. And there's the two six. Uh, six millimeter hex heads, which I did forget to mention in the beginning. Uh, that is a tool you will need. And once I got these guys out, I pulled straight off. Then I pulled the evaporator, excuse me, the expansion valve off, replaced it with a new one, and on its way. So right here you can see is the expansion valve. Now once, you're going to have one, two, three, four, and on the other side, you have six O-rings that you should replace. Now, I'm not going to say you have to, just check the shape they're in, and if I got my expansion valve from O'Reilly's, and the it came with all the necessary O-rings, so I went ahead and replaced them. Just use a pocket knife or a pick or a flathead screwdriver. And that was it. I charged up the system and it's fixed the issue. It was now blowing cold both front and rear. My front pressure was again at, just staying steady at 30 and the high side was staying steady at about 200. Now if you have any questions, concerns, please comment below. Like this video if it helped and subscribe if you want more repair tips and how to's like this and I will uh, make an improvement to make more landscape pictures and more pictures to explain the process.
All right, guys, um, you reinstall in the same order you took out. Uh, have a good day. Bye.